Hello everybody, so today I will be building my Batman vs Superman Kryptonite Interception set. I uh, got this I think about a week or two ago, I still haven't built it. It comes with three mini figures, sorry I'm not in focus there. It comes with two LexCorp henchmen and a Batman. Just looking at the box should really take the camera off for this it'd be much easier there's the actual Batman figure go to the back of the box 306 pieces in this set uh, in the UK something falling in there it was just under 30 pounds and uh, I did get this just because of the Batmobile it looks to be really, really nice. I was going to get the um, armoured Batman and Superman, but I uh, decided to get this instead. And so, yeah, that's just basically the box, nothing major on it. It does have two of the uh, stud shooters on the front there. And you do get a comic with it, a mini comic. Let's see if I can get it out of the glare. So basically promo for the Batman vs Superman sets Unfortunately uh, the Wonder Woman set is in the quite a big set which I don't have any interest in which I'll show at the end This one that comes also with Lois Lane and Lex Luthor. It's the only way at the moment anyway that you can get this version of Wonder Woman. But yeah, it doesn't look to be very good. The, I don't know, it is the Batwing. And here are the, um, all the, uh, here, all the mini figs that you can get and the corresponding sets there's Wonder Woman at the bottom Superman there and Angry Superman I probably at some stage will get the um, armoured Superman and Superman I think it's in this you get two uh, instruction booklets there's a new Lego um, DC Superheroes film coming out soon with Saturn Boy. There's the copter and uh, I don't know, Batwing or something with Wonder Woman there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can't really zoom in. But and there's the uh, confrontation set with the uh, armoured Batman and the uh, Bat Signal, which I'll get at some time, but not that important. Anyway, on to the actual set, the actual building. I'm a slow builder. I don't know how long this will take me.
This one's definitely more angry. It's got slicked back hair. See if I can find it. There we go. As soon as I said that, I found it. He's got a sort of um, bazooka stud blaster. These actually do fire quite far. Pew. Pew pew. Do a burn debt impression. I think I prefer this to the other. Uh, Luther Henchman Yeah Goatee just doesn't <laughs>
almost sort of like a, there's only the stickers inside, there's no driving uh, wheel or anything. So it's a bit weird inside and yeah, a bit hard, well I suppose because it's new but just the design of it is weird. I think mine's come off. Uh, actually seeing this set was the first time that I actually saw the design of the Batmobile because I am avoiding uh, all trailers and stuff of the film. The actual figure I think is really cool. I'll get the mask around the right way or in line. I do like the uh, design of the figure a lot. I do, I think it is a new cow, I could be wrong, but yeah, it works really well in my opinion. A really, really nice figure and I do like, as I said before, that they have upgraded the uh, capes from just paper to uh, actual fabric now, to cloth and nice design on back as well. If I can get my big clumsy fingers out of the way. Really nice gold highlighting as well. But yeah. As I said, I bought this just for the back reveal. I think it looks really nice, but I've got to sort out that. That one. I wish it was just in piece the whole windscreen. It was a fun build. And I think it really does look nice. Especially with all like the bits uh the at angles underneath not much to be done really not much to be said at the sides it does look cool as for the other stuff that's gonna fall so yeah there you go the one disappointment I suppose is with the um, LexCorp the Kryptonite these do not fit on properly they don't fit well they fit but they don't stay on at all the forklift truck is nice uh, it does have the flick missile and the thing here to make it go up and down and the little thing here to get the driver to pop out once he's uh, once that's come. I don't know if I can do it. There, not much. Overall, though, a really nice set. Uh, Pounds per brick, I think it works out well, seeing it's over 300 pieces and it was just under £30. So yeah, I would say it's definitely worth buying and a fun build. Uh, enough of me uh, nattering on. If you stuck with me, you're probably bored to death. Uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe if you are watching this. And thanks again for sticking. Bye for now. Okay, so I just had a quick look at the um, Batmobile uh, windscreen again. And uh, apparently uh, the piece that I have here wasn't in properly. So the proper way to open up the windscreen is to take both bits up.
and then fold them back down there which I couldn't do before because that one this piece wasn't in fully so that's what the windscreen looks like what the Batmobile looks like with the windscreen or the cockpit I suppose fully opened up and it's actually much easier now to open and close and uh, just have a quick look at all three figures I neglected my favourites out of the two LexCorp henchmen and that is the one with the bazooka which I think is pretty cool what I call a bazooka anyway I don't know what it actually is it's just a enhanced stud um, blaster and I think it's pretty cool it's got the L, both of them have the uh, LC imprinted on them which I think is pretty nice detailing don't know if that's coming into focus or not and at the back they have uh, LexCorp printed and this one uh, drag queen wannabe in my opinion or just someone who's been at the chocolate or chocolate milk it looks pretty awful that one my can't like that face and here is the uh, other side of Batman who I've got to say his face is quite brown looks like he's been in the sun too much compared to the uh, Let's Corp henchman anyway enough of me babbling take care for now peace